solve for all positive integers m and n, satisfying this equation. 1 over m plus 1 over n plus 1 over m times n equals 1 over 4. Interesting. Now let's reflect. m and n are two positive integers. They can be equal. So, this is a very good point. We'll have two cases. Hmm, that's good. In the first case, we'll have a look at the equation when m equals n. If m equals n, the equation is very simple and easy. It's just 1 over m plus 1 over m plus 1 over m squared equals 1 over 4. So it is 2 over m plus 1 over m squared equals 1 over 4. So it is 2m plus 1 over m squared equals 1 over 4. And now we can query an equation about m. And it is m squared minus 8m minus 4 equals 0. We know that m is a positive integer. However, the two roots to this equation are not integers at all. So, of course, they are not positive integers. So that means, in this case, we don't have any positive integers. So, no solution. Now, in our second case, we'll have a look at the equation when m is not equal to n. Now, because m, n, m times n, and 4, of course, they're the denominators, and we hate denominators. So what shall we do? We can multiply the both sides by 4 times m times n. And then the equation will be like this. Here is 4n, here is 4m, here is 4, here is m times n. Now, I like to subtract 4n and 4m from the both sides. It is mn minus 4m minus 4n equals 4. On the left hand side, we have a polynomial. On the right hand side, we have a constant, a positive integer, 4. So now, our euro trick is to factorize the left hand side, if possible. We have to try to do it. Of course we can. Here we can take out an m, and in the bracket is n minus 4. Because here we only have a term about n, so, so we hope that if we take out a minus 4, in the bracket, there will be n minus 4. Therefore, we can take out n minus 4, uh, and we'll end up with a factorization on the left-hand side. However, we have one more constant on the left-hand side. It is minus 4 times negative 4, which is 16. So we have a 16 on the left-hand side. But we're not supposed to have it. So what shall we do? Two choices. Subtract the 16 from the left-hand side, or add it to the right-hand side. They are actually equivalent. So I like to add it to the right-hand side. 4 plus 16 is 20. Then it is m minus 4 times n minus 4 equals 20. 20 is an integer. So m minus 4 and n minus 4 have to be the factors of 20. m is a positive integer, so m minus 4 is greater than or equal to minus 3 n minus 4 as well. So then, we can factor 20. 20, there are actually six ways. So I'd like to write it here, maybe. Six ways. 1 times 20. 20 times 1. 4 times 5. 5 times 4, 2 times 10, and 10 times 2. Here we have 524, and here we have 
24, 5. Here we have 9, uh, 8 and 9. 9 and 8. Here is, wait a moment, here is 6, 14, and of course, 14, 6. So now we have six pairs, and they are our solutions. Six solution pairs, did you get them? Please give the fabulous method a like, and don't forget to subscribe to me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.